Video games have become much more than just child's play. In fact, some international competitors are making huge money. And now schools are starting to recognize gaming as an official sport. Esports are the fastest growing activity for kids in this country. And now the Colorado High School Activity Association is starting a gaming league. Our Dylan Thomas met with students at one school that already have a team formed. And Dylan, they surely aren't the only ones in Colorado that love to play those games. Jim Kelly, a lot of the people here at Local Host Arena in Lakewood are already looking forward to gaming being in high schools. Right now, there are more than 22,000 kids across the state that are signed up in some type of gaming in their local high school. So Chassa announced today that they will soon recognize the official competition of gaming, and they will also announce state champions like in football, soccer, and basketball. Gaming. It's become so popular, kids and parents meet up for competitions on the weekend. An eSports arena is where you play those competitive games. Gaming first started as a hobby and quickly made its way into our schools. Started as a club, now it's a sport. In 1973, when Gateway High selected the Olympians as their mascot, they likely never expected one day they would have a team of video gamers. It's definitely not Grand Theft Auto, that's, that's for sure. A lot of the games require you to like uh, have very, very quick thinking. So you have to adapt to a situation. Physics teacher Matt Flory is now Gateway's first gaming coach. Did you ever envision that you would be coaching video game playing? I actually always thought I was going to be coaching football. Um, I played football throughout my life. I played some video games. Never did I think of coaching video games. The popularity of gaming so significant, the Colorado High School Activity Association is officially making esports a high school competitive activity. Our kids are moving in this direction. So Chasa needs to be relevant. It's going to be one of our first inclusive uh, co-ed opportunities. While many argue gaming should not be considered equal to physically demanding sports. Well, that's what sports have been forever. but. You know, times are changing and uh, change is a good thing. Modernizing with technology and everything, we're advancing much quicker than we have before. Chassa says they will have their first competition starting in October with the game League of Legends. While many people say this is a sport, Chassa says they will not be calling this a sport right now. Rather, they are coining it a competitive activity. Live in Lakewood, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado first.